it's pomegranate day <laughs> this is one of our favorite days of the year it's kind of a time honored tradition for generations we have done this is my mom by the way <laughs> um we have um done pomegranate day as long as i can remember uh, at either the end of october or the beginning of november this year it's the beginning of november and you guys have lived in this house for 34 years. 34 years. Yeah. I was five when we moved here. <laughs> so, they live here. I don't live here. But, yeah. so, Dad's mom and dad planted the tree and started the tradition <laughs> of the jelly. So, my grandparents did pomegranate day, and then my dad helps with pomegranate day and his siblings. And then my brothers and sister and I helped with pomegranate day growing up. Yep. And now my kids are helping with pomegranate day. And doing a great job. They <laughs> did, they're, they're ready to help. So um, we also wear all black on pomegranate day because it looks like we've been through a bloodbath by the time we're done. Um, and we just, we love getting all together on the same day and doing all of the pomegranate things all together. So we pick all the pomegranates on the tree. They have been done by now. Um, and then we pile them all up, cut them and squeeze them. And we have special tools for squeezing because they're kind of a pain to get the juice out of. And then um, mom and I go inside and we make jelly. Make the jelly. So, and actually we're gonna teach you how to do the jelly this time. So, um, anyway, if anybody wants the recipe, I can send it to you or maybe I'll put it in the comments. Yeah, you could do that. Okay. That'd be awesome. It's not like it's a secret. It's not a secret. <laughs> so, anyway. Thanks mom for being on my video. This is the real hero right here. Well, you know, somebody's gotta pick him off the tree and get scratched up and stabbed and all that. <laughs> pomegranate trees wanna protect all those pomegranates. So they're very pokey. <laughs> <laughs> and they're really hard. Some, some plants, when the fruit gets ripe, it's easy to get it off. Pomegranates are not like that they continue to be really difficult to pick. They just don't want to give up. They just want to stay on the tree. <laughs> so, I remember as a kid, this being the worst job ever. Charlotte, what you doing? <laughs> Everybody helps, huh? Yeah, even Papa. What do you think, guys? Is it hard work? <laughs> yes, of course. All right, so we put it in like this, the wedge, and then pull it down, Ellie. All right, Ellie's gonna try one of the seeds. What do you think? Juicy. <laughs> Is it good? 
Nuts, you want to try one? It tastes like nuts. Can you get it with your glove on? You might have to take your glove off. There you go. <laughs> it's really hard, huh? Here. <laughs> now we gotta get going a little faster. <laughs> so we got the adults squeezing. <laughs> Here's Beth. Oh, it's her funny. pomegranate speckles. Did you get? She got a little bit on her shirt. It's okay. And let me see your face. <laughs> little on her face. What? Ah! Let me see. I didn't. <laughs> Look at all the juice. And one is already gone to making jelly. So much, you guys. Okay, so we're gonna start out with five cups of sugar. That's our sugarer. Very sugar carefully measured. Is sugar or a real worm? No. <laughs> no. But don't take the fun out of it. <laughs> okay, we put a tablespoon of butter in our big pot to keep the foam from happening or being as much when we boil all of the ingredients together. And next, this is pectin, so this is the thing that makes the jelly happen. Okay, she's straining the juice. Cloth to make sure we get all of the seeds and pulp and everything out. There's pretty little seeds left in there. I mean, it's super close, you guys. Gotta let it boil. A little more than that and then we'll put all the sugar in and boil it again. All the sugar all at once. And then stir it in. And now we have to keep stirring. Just keep stirring. Ouch, I just boiled my filth. Just keep stirring, just keep stirring because it will burn if we don't. So we have boiled it again, and now we're just kind of stirring the bubbles out. And then we'll pour it into our jars that have been sterilized. Okay, so these jars have been sterilized in the dishwasher. Fill it almost to the top, but not quite. Leftover always. Oh, maybe she can fit it. No. Let's put the leftover into this one jar that's not going to get sealed. <laughs> Just go in the fridge. This will be the, the use right away jar because it won't be preserved. There's, this is why we put the butter in so that there's not a bunch of foam on the top because nobody likes to eat the foam. Yeah. It's very beautiful looking. Okay, and then she wipes the top with the hot boiling water. Make sure we don't have any germs in there. My fingers. <laughs> and then these lids have been boiled. They're brand new. You can reuse the jars and the screw bands 
that go around it, but these are always new every year or every time we make jelly. Boiled the, the bands as well, so nothing has any kind of germs, so that they'll be good for a long time. Not that it takes long to eat all of these jars, actually. <laughs> We never have jelly left over. <laughs> we never have to worry about it going bad. <laughs> but it could last for a good long time. Okay, and then after it gets sealed up good and tight so it doesn't leak, turn it upside down. Helps in the sealing process. So it has to sit upside down for five minutes and then we'll turn them over and then the middle part of these lids will suction down so that it makes a nice tight seal all the way around here so no more ger no germs can get inside okay so then take a towel and put them upside up, right side up. <laughs> They're very hot still. And then wait to hear that beautiful sound of the little popping. Sneaky chicken trying to, oh, several sneaky chickens trying to find those pomegranate seeds. These aren't even my parents' chickens. They're the neighbor's chickens. They're cleaning up after us. They're about to get mad though because we're coming outside. <laughs> Well, that's a wrap on pomegranate day. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also find us on Instagram at homeschool at heart.